All right, so I have something working now that I was always wondering if I could get to work. I, because we had a gigantic snowstorm in the last few days, um, I've been forced to work at home. Um, and so I brought home a Windows uh, laptop that no one was using at work. And I thought, oh, this would be fun. I can maybe, you know, at night uh, have some fun with Mathematica. But it turns out I can only install Mathematica on the, my work machine, given the site license that we have. And so installing it on this laptop, I probably could have done it, but it would have taken talking to the ITS department, et cetera, et cetera. But I had heard for a long time that um, Mathematica has released for free the what they call the Wolfram engine. And that if you have the Wolfram engine, you can just run stuff, you know, as long as you're not trying to make money on it on the command line. And so that works fine. You just on a Windows machine, you download the the engine and then on like the command line, you're able to type Mathematica commands, but it doesn't produce graphics or anything, right? It's not a very good uh, user interface. But it turns out that a lot of people put some work into figuring out how to get Jupyter, Jupyter notebooks, I guess, to be able to run Mathematica. So it took me a lot of um, hunting around to find it, but it works now. So you notice here that um, here's my typical Jupyter page. And when I go to new, I can go, I have a Python or I can go to a Wolfram language. And so here's Wolfram language. Plots work just fine. It was a little slow. Let me just see if it's any faster here now that it's all running. Oh yeah, much faster now. Um, so plots work just fine. You can do multiple lines with semicolons. You can define functions. Um, so let me just do like a double pendulum, see if I can pull it off here. So let's see. So a double pendulum, what I want to do is I want to say, um, well, let me do a multiple pendulum. N equals two um, mass. Let's make all the masses equal to one. Let's have gravity be 9.8. And let's say x of i, uh, the x of zero of t colon equals zero. So we'll have the main pivot point be at zero and y of zero uh, for all practical purposes is zero. I think this will work. I actually don't know what errors are gonna look like. And let's have x of i of t be, oops, be um, x of i minus one of t um, plus, let's have all the lengths be one, l equals one. Um, plus some length, let's see, the x is going to be, I want the sine times the sine of theta. So let me just use th of i of t. So it's the ith, um, the ith angle. And um, similarly, y of i of t is going to be y of i minus one t. Um, Let's have it go down. So minus L times the cosine of theta of I of T. That should work just fine. And then let us say that the kinetic energy is one half times, they're all the same mass, times the total of the table of, um, I guess what we want is X of I prime of T. Oops. Oh, I didn't know that I was going to do that with the primes. That's going to be a pain in the butt actually squared um, plus y of i prime of t, get rid of that stupid extra prime uh, squared. So that'll be the kinetic energy of the ith particle as i goes up to n, okay? And, oops, probably need to close two of those. Then the potential energy is going to be m times g times the total table, um, just y of i of t. Um, y of i of t as i goes to n, close the table, close the total. So, and then the the um, Lagrangian is just going to be the kinetic energy minus the potential energy. Then the other Lagrange equation for a generic variable is going to be the derivative of L with respect to x of t minus the derivative of L with respect to x prime of t. Oh, didn't do it that time. Um, with an additional time derivative. And that's going to be set equal to zero. And then the sol is going to be first and D solve of um, EL slash at table. Let's see, we're going to have theta of I um, as I goes to N. Okay, so that's all of the differential equations. And then, I wonder if I can just put some spaces in here. Um, I want 
um, table theta of i of 0 equals equals, let's just have them all sitting out at uh, 45 degrees. Um, so what is that? Pi over 4. Try that anyways. Um, so that'll set all of the thetas to uh, their initial value to, to that. And then I want theta of i prime. Oh, that's weird that it does that sometimes and not other times. I want the initial velocity to be 0 for everybody. Um, and then we're going to solve for all the, oops, all the thetas. Oh, I made a mistake. I see. I need to fix some things here. Comma as i goes to n. Comma as i goes to n. Okay. And then after that, I want to, as t goes from 0 to, I'm just going to go to 0 to 1. And then let's see if this works. Uh, recursion limit. Why do I have a recursion limit problem? No, I had a recursion limit. So why didn't this work? So if I ask for x of 2 of t, yeah, that works. Maybe. Why should work just fine? I'm just going to pause the recording while I figure this out. Okay, I had a, an equal sign instead of a minus sign right there, so that works. So let me run this again. Works just fine. I get the answer. So now let me do a um, parametric plot of um, x. Let's see. Evaluate table x of i of t comma y of i of t slash dot solve as i goes from 0 to n, no, just 1 to n. Uh, close the table, close the evaluate as t goes from 0 to 1. Okay, so that works. Yep, so there's my 2. Awesome, let me go out to 10 seconds instead. Okay, and then have this go out to 10 seconds. There's my double pendulum. That works really great. Can I do a quadruple pendulum? Ah, okay, so I need this. Copy. I need to put it right here, comma, paste. Let's try that. Works. Let's run it. There's my quadruple pendulum. So it works. So this is actually very, very slick. Let's see, how far can I push it? Can I do 10 pendulum? Yep, let's take a look. I mean, no surprise, right? They all just kind of kick around a little bit. And I'd want to make a, an animation of this, and that, that's going to be harder to do. So the Mathematica interface is way better at making interfaces than the Jupyter interface. So I'd have to think about that. But it's truly remarkable that I'm able to just put some Mathematica code in here and get, you know, this is a, this is a monster, right? The, I'll just look, show you one differential equation. So if I show you the differential equation for um, x10, is that what I wanted? I think so. Uh, is that, no. It's not a valid variable. Oh. I don't want x10, I want theta 10. So this is just one of the 20 differential equations. No, I guess it's only 10, 10 differential equations, right, that I'm doing. And it's solving all of those for free using uh, the, the Mathematica engine. Very, very cool.